ambition is about wanting to seek out the ability to have greatest and most meaningful impact. So, you know, there's really no point in activity for activity's sake or ambition for ambition's sake. So for me, ambition is about really finding that space where you can have good and deep and meaningful impact on your environment or the people within it. I think you're a okay. product of your parents and my parents are both have always worked for themselves and have always been working, in particular my mother, you know, she had a great working mother role model and so mm -hmm. you cannot be a working mother and not be ambitious. It's almost a, a rule for life because you're balancing so much that you have to have an ambition to, to, to number one, get it done. Right. And number two, I think most people want to be good at what they do. So if you place yourself into environments where the expectations of you are high and they're great mm -hmm. and you are the sort of person who wishes to achieve and do well, mm -hmm as I say, I think most people wish to do well, then, then that grows that seed of ambition within you. So it's like knocking off blocks, if you will, as you go through your professional life through ambition. So something to do with the people you surround yourself with as you go through life is important for you as well? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it comes from within you. I think most right. of it, in fact, does have to come within you. But the people that you then surround yourself with help um, foster that desire to be to be good at what you do do and to make a difference in what you do. The most ambitious person I know would be Stacey Shortall, who's mm -hmm. a friend of mine. We went to university together and she is a, a partner in a law firm. She has four children um, who she raises on her own, they're adopted children. Um, she has created a number of um, non-profit organisations who exist solely for the greater good of um, of the community, and you know, on top of that, she is as I say, she's a lawyer, and she works in a very commercial sense, as she does um, a social sense. So she is incredibly ambitious for others. Mm. Mm. Is there anything in your life that would enable you to be more ambitious? Yeah, I think hours in the day. Uh -huh. <laughs> hours in the day. Time is one of them. I mean, you always have to balance. Everything you do in your life, you know, um, I think that life work balances an urban myth. I think right. that you find your own level, you know, like water will, you'll find your own level and your level of comfort with um, busyness and ambition as against just taking a moment to stop and breathe and be with your whānau. Um, I think though, the things that do fire your ambition or fire my ambition are uh, is need. So where I identify a need that brings on a degree of ambition to tackle, address, overcome a need of sorts. And so I think that you know, where the, the greater the problem, the greater the ambition required to, to tackle that. So that's, you know, if I keep finding issues and challenges and problems in my life, both professional and personal, then it fuels that ambition to tackle them. Well, I think to have meaningful yeah. um, impact and a demonstrable impact on um, either the the businesses that you run or um, the circle of people that you associate yourself with or the boards that you sit on. So a number of the boards that I sit on are um, non-profits, so Young Enterprise Trust and Sir Peter Black Trust, very centred on leadership, young people, the environment and business. So that, that, that really um, excites me and mm. I get very motivated to help our kids understand what it is to be a leader. Mm -hmm. Um, what it is uh, within the business sense to um, contribute, to generate wealth by whatever different definition you use, to become a job creator so that they can have choice for their family and for their community and for their every helper if that's the space they're playing in. But mm. those are the sorts of things, those are needs and then that motivates my ambition to, mm. to jump on. Do you have any observations about how ambition is viewed more generally in New Zealand? Uh, yeah, I do, and it's not tall poppy, I don't think, because I sort of get a bit tired of using that yeah. as an idea. But philosophically, I think that people have an expectation of ambition that is probably quite tame. Mm -hmm. I think there's a degree of acceptability where people are, are a, they're busy, they're this busy. Mm -hmm. This busy, they can understand, people can understand, but when you're this busy, people... Um, Feel the need to have a perspective on it. You know, people say, "How do you do it all? You're so busy." But you know, everyone's busy. 
It's right. just about your own capacity for um, activity and your own capacity for focus and your own capacity to take on and um, and not in a glib way activities that you think are you know important to to your life. And I think that you have to be ambitious to do those things. So at a certain point, people I think. Um, have less of an understanding of how you do that all and sometimes it comes off negatively I think mm -hmm. um, but but I don't think there's a negativity to that I think it is a genuine you know, how does a person do a lot so I think there's a genuine desire to understand how to do more people are always seeking their, uh, seeking balance in their life and, right. and, and, and what does that look like and that is entirely subjective for every single person um, so I think there's a um, it's like being an athlete, I think, you know, if you want to be an athlete, you need to train hard in any given code that you apply yourself to. If you want to be in business and you want to be in governance and, and so on and so forth, you need to actually be working those muscles in different ways and often to be good at that. Um, and that requires a lot of dedication to be the best at your craft or to be very, very good at your craft and by default then that keeps you busy. Mm -hmm. But you can't do it well unless you have your priorities square. So my priority is my family, and then everything else comes thereafter. I think that being ambitious means you're probably perpetually uncomfortable. Right. You, you have to be to know that you're pushing the boundaries.